Well, hello folks, and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. Been about a week since I've played. I took a longer break from pretty much any recording than I really expected, so I don't remember what I was doing last. So I'm probably going to do the same thing I've been doing, which is not have a clue what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, and just fly around. Again, I had assumed by now... A that I would have some type of main goal. Gravity cannon. Got a lot more stuff unlocked than I'm going to remember to hunt down. So, Southern Observatory. The new, more sensitive locator than Nomai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed that the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. And there were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Tornado simulation. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones. Mm -hmm. It was a simple one. Dabs, radio tower. Gravity cannon. Recall the Nomai shuttle from the interloper. I still think there's more to find on the interloper. I need to go back to that maybe at some point. Escape pod one. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel that we still haven't figured out. Uh, the Nomai survivors who crashed on Brittle Hollow climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. And, okay, there's nothing else there. We've got the gravity cannon here. Generates strong upward gravity field. Recalled a Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. But I couldn't send it back to the moon. Damn it. So, let's go ahead and... I don't believe I've tried this yet. Despite the fact that we have read about it. Where are you at? Quantum moon. Care about the cave shard. There it is. I'm gonna say even the sound of that is distinct. So it said the south, the southern pole you could land on for the quantum moon. I don't believe it, that that's going to work. I really think it, it's going to be more complicated than that. Just, just something that I assume. Call me crazy if you want. And... Okay, so... The trick is going to be finding out, obviously, which pole is its north and south pole, so... Um, you know, I really don't have any way to figure that out, do I? Rotating, so maybe... South pole is this part right here? Kinda looks interesting. Looks distinct. I'm basing it on the axis of its rotation. Would be the South Pole. I gotta learn how to fly again. Okay. Well, that experiment was a failure. For sure, it's on the other side here. Possible I have to actually pull up the landing camera and land that way. God, I hope not. Actually, you know what? I don't think that... I think that the moon is actually there. 
There it is. Okay. This is gonna be another boring video of me testing out stupid ideas that don't work. I feel like this is the type of game that I that would be better off live streamed. That way I can do the same monotonous thing for three hours in a row. Testing out new different dumb strategies. Like I still need to fly into that angler fish infested hellhole. Are we gonna hit this thing? Okay, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to line this up. And then... This would be the south pole down here. I'm afraid if I stop looking at it... At any point... gonna disappear on me. Yep. Fuck. Fuck me! I knew it! No, I don't want to fire a probe. You know what? Let's go on a harrowing space flight against some anglerfish. I feel like there's a lot more to explore here. Oh, fuck. Okay, please don't hit anything. Like, the red light, is that not something? Feldspar, oh boy. Say, so, let me follow his signal. Actually, ooh, a lot of lights right there, I don't like that. Did I run into Feldspar? Oh my god, look at... You know what? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're gonna do this one on foot. Sorry, spaceship. Quite frankly, I do, I do not trust this. I think that from at least the limited amount of experience that I've got, we can fly past these things with a jetpack. And they, they've got to be all over the damn place. But I can't really fly past them in, in my ship. I think it's too big. Feldspar! Am I going to chase you for ten minutes through here? Oh, fuck. Look at that. Too small for me to enter. Damn, I haven't done this before, have I? Okay. So, maybe it is entirely possible that he's trapped... ...on... He really is trapped on... At, ...on the one... ...in... Okay. Go check out this one. He is trapped on the one that's on the home planet. Maybe. I'm still not sure. Again, I don't feel like I've figured a damn thing out in this game. <laughs> I continue to like, have more questions than answers by far. Well, this place is sufficiently spooky. You know what? It's actually more peaceful. Not gonna lie if I just listen to the sound of the music. When you're floating through space, scared of what lurks in the, in the fog. Just pull out your signal scope. Please don't. 
I mean, please don't turn out the lights. Well, that's great. <gasps> no fucking way. It's a camp. It is Feldsfire. I wasn't sure I would actually run into this guy or... No, he's maybe here. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. It paid off. I was not sure that it would. Feldspar. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in... Well, ever actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Um... Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh... You know, crashed. Violently. You crashed, but you're the greatest pilot in Hearthian history. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble. I mean, there's no one had ever been before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You've seen him. Big gnarly things. And this was the biggest one I've ever seen. You pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. Going full speed when the fish clips me. Knocks me into a vine and... Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well... That ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. Found the skeleton later. Great find. Would've been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you wanted? Yeah, I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. Well, I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So, you figured out the old tornado trick, did you? Good work. I found that bit out by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, hey? Hornfells would have my very handsome head if they knew I'd been riding the Cyclones again. The ship is fragile. It can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? And the jellyfish. Uh, figured those out, too. Actually, I tell you what. You've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure. But you might just become a pilot yet. Hey, Hatchling, pull up a marshmallow stick. Um, I found something. I found the anglerfish nest. So that's where the blasted things come from, is it? Stars above. If I still had a working ship, I'd be sorely tempted to go show them what's what. <sighs> Probably best to leave them alone, though. Really. More trouble than it's worth to mess with anglerfish. Uh, let's see. I found something. I found a dark bramble seed on timber hearth that actually... Your music is coming through. It's real fucking weird. It's bad business, Hatchling. The shirt will tell you if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction. It used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing. 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 Until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted out real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what. We Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Maybe that's what I need to do? I need to find a way to free Feldspar. 
Or at least destroy the seed back on our home planet. So... Where the fuck should I go now? I'm guessing the blue light maybe shows me the way out. I see you flashing. Oh shit, no. I need to slow down. Yeah. Damn, Feldspar, that's your ship? Talk about guts. <laughs> Punched right through the vine, too, it looked like. Interesting. I'm gonna get motion thick. I'm curious. I doubt the vine goes anywhere, but... This, it did, they did punch through it. So, and I haven't seen any other vines be punched through yet. Where the fuck does this go? Holy shit. Okay. There's actually gravity here. Well, this is creepy. Huh. Got a dead jellyfish. Hey, and a tape. T trip four. Entry number. I'm going to say number one. Crash is three. Boring crash is zero. Whoa, ho. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish can be useful here, too. Ugh. This thing tastes terrible. Outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped? Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. Feldspar. You crazy son of a bitch. But, will that allow me... Aww. Come on, don't get stuck. Gonna say, ooh. Note to Feldspar Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Okay. This is another one I was lucky enough to figure out on my own. Okay. So. I don't know what that is. Not too happy about this. I am not going back through here. My ship is 640 meters away. Which is interesting. Oh shit. Hmm. Not gonna lie. I don't particularly trust going down there. Oh, yeah, that's right, but there's nothing actually up here. As I discovered. Well, shit. Sun's gonna blow up soon anyways. So... Well, well, well. I wonder. 50% fuel. God, oh, that burns so much fuel. I've never... Oh. Nope. 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 Not gonna make it. I had hopes, obviously. Three minutes oxygen. Well... Ow. Well, that really messed me up, actually. Okay. That just about killed me. Did not think I fell that fast or that far. 
almost thought I saw something there. Look, game, I just want to get into orbit. You could be so inclined before I run out of oxygen. Fuel situation I can handle. I don't think I've got enough forward momentum here. And I guess I probably could have equally just burned straight up and away. Okay. We're gonna see where this takes me now. Obviously, this adventure is over with. Learned a couple things. Finally found Feldspar. I think next video, uh, next death, I'm gonna spend more time uh, on our home planet. I've gotta find out how to get the scout launcher over to the damn Bramble. I haven't even had the sad music yet. What will happen first? Will the sun go nova? Or will I run out of oxygen? But yeah, so... I need to get the scout launcher over to the bramble. Over to the bramble seed. That's about... That's all I know. Fuck. 60 seconds. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna suffocate. Right before the sun blows up. I'm curious about all the blue light that that planet is putting off too. Brittle Hollow. I've barely spent any time there. Ember Hearth. I keep forgetting what that place is called. I want to call it Hearthian. But I know that's not right, so I just call it Home Planet. Giant's Deep. I don't know what else is there for us to discover. The Ash Twins. I know there's a lot more there to discover, but... I'm really salty about uh, having to run through the caves over and over and over until I find the path that I keep missing. Yep. <laughs> so, I will, uh, yeah, next time we're gonna spend more time on Timber Hearth. It might, it might not even be possible to get the scout launcher over there. I might just be overthinking this. I don't know.